There's more to owning a website than just completing it. A website has to be managed. Up next, you'll get a tour of the three main management tools provided by KM FastTrans. Synchronizing associations, inconsistencies processing, and permissions management. Now let's see how to use the synchronizing associations tool. Whenever an element is added to a set of translations in KM FastTrans, a corresponding Joomla association is created. Conversely, whenever an association is created using Joomla, a set of translations is created, updated, or deleted in KM FastTrans. This keeps associations synchronized during the process of creation or element modification. In addition, there are two batch processes to synchronize elements in both directions. You can create element associations in Joomla if, for example, you created KM FastTrans sets of translations without allowing associations in the language filter plugin. You can create sets of translations if you already have a website with Joomla associations and you want to use KM FastTrans to manage the website. Let's see how it's done. We see that the menu item Getting Started is not associated. However, we have a set of translations that associates Getting Started in English with Introducción in Spanish and Mise en route in French. And we also want to have these associations in Joomla. To accomplish this, we use the synchronizing process. We'll use current translation sets to create, update, or delete Joomla items associations. We can see that Joomla menu items associations have been successfully updated from the translation sets. Let's take a look at Joomla associations for getting started. We can see that the Joomla menu item associations for getting started have been created and they are the same as those in the set of translations. And we can do this in reverse, updating sets of translations according to Joomla associations. Now we'll see how to deal with translation inconsistencies. The Inconsistencies Processing Tool works to find translation inconsistencies that can occur when building or maintaining a multilingual website. Let's look at a simple example of an inconsistency and how to solve it. Suppose we have to change the category of the article entitled Beginners. Now let's suppose that this new category has not been translated into Spanish. Due to the category change, the Inconsistencies Processing Tool has detected an inconsistency in the translations into Spanish and French. So, we edit the article to find its inconsistencies. and the Inconsistencies Processing Tool tells us that there is no Spanish translation of the Utility Modules category. For details on the inconsistency and possible actions to take, we click here. 
In this window, we can see all the inconsistencies for the target element and take the necessary actions to solve them. Here we can see the description of the inconsistency and the actions that can be taken. In this case, you can associate an element or you can create a new one. For our purposes, we'll create a new one. We get a screen where everything is preselected. The type of element we have to create, the source element of the translation, the target language, and all language-dependent parameters, such as the parent. In just three clicks, we've created the category. Now, when we click Save and Close, all intermediate screens will be closed and the new category will be available for selection at the Start screen. And here we are at the Start screen. You'll notice that there is still an inconsistency, but now the type is not selected and this is solved by simply selecting it. The inconsistency for the Spanish language element has been resolved. Now, let's see how to use permissions management. KM FastTrans has full access permissions management. It uses native Joomla ACL and also introduces a new layer of language level permissions. These two features allow you to define in detail what a translator user can do. As an example, we will create two groups of users who will only be able to translate articles into French and into Spanish. Let's assume that we will allow our translators only the translation of articles. For our purpose, we have previously created a group of articles translators with two subgroups, French translators, who can only translate articles in French, and Spanish translators, who can only translate articles in Spanish. We have also created an access level for the group of translators. Let's see how it's configured. Its name is Translators. And the only group that has access is Articles Translators. The group Articles Translators must also have the access level registered. And the access level special. We have also created the user French Translator in the user group French Translators. Now we have to establish the global permission settings for the user group Articles Translators. Let's see what these users can do when they log in with the French Translator user in another browser window. The user has access to nothing except the control panel and his profile. Let's switch back to the super admin session.
What we have to do now is to give the group articles translators access permissions to the KM Fast Trans component. Here we would allow all the actions we need except configure. In this case, we will allow everything except configure. The French translator group has the same permissions as articles translators because it inherits all settings. And the same happens with the Spanish translators group. Let's get back to the translator session to see what he can do now. We see that he can access the KM FastTrans component, but only the management dashboard and the control panel. Let's go to the management dashboard. The only thing the translator can manage within KM FastTrans are categories. Later, we'll see how to remove this option since we want to give him permissions to only manage articles. And although he can access categories, he can't take any action. All icons are grayed out. Let's go back to the super admin session to give permissions to manage articles. we go to Article Manager Options. And allow the group Article Translators all the needed actions. In this case, we'll allow all actions except Configure and Access Administration Interface. Let's see again what the translator can do. Now the translator can access categories and articles. But he still can't execute any action in any language. All icons are grayed out. Let's return to the Super Admin session, this time to hide the Categories option and to give permissions to manage articles in the French language. To prevent Categories management, we have to use a special KM FastTrans option. This is because the category's permissions are per component. In this case, all the groups with access level translators will have their access to categories denied. And finally, will give access to appropriate languages. The French language first. The group French translators will have access to all the actions for items in the French language.
And now, the Spanish language. The group Spanish Translators will have access to all the actions for items in the Spanish language. Now let's see what the French translator can do. The French translator has access to articles only. And inside articles, he has access only to articles in the French language. Let's edit the article in French to see it in the edit screen. You can see that all the buttons are active. Now let's try to create an element in the Italian language. A warning message displays that you can't create a record in the Italian language and the only available button is close. And the same happens if you try to edit an item in any other language, like Spanish, for instance. Now we log out and log in again with the Spanish translator user. Let's edit the article in Spanish to see it in the edit screen. You can see that all the buttons are active. The Spanish translator is not allowed to edit an item in the French language. As demonstrated, using KM FastTrans Permissions Management gives us the confidence and peace of mind that a given user will only be able to accomplish what he is allowed to and will not take any further action which can inadvertently break some other parts of the website.